Hello everyone and welcome. Have you ever asked yourself, why do we grind coffee? It's almost something that everyone does and won't question, but may not know why. The real straightforward answer would be that it increases surface area. By grinding a whole bean into smaller pieces, we are increasing the total area that's accessible to the water and making the coffee easier to extract. But let's go a step further and consider why that's important. What are we extracting anyway? And what does the structure of a bean look like? Well, to start off, a coffee bean is made of many, many layers of cellulose sheets that are overlapping and crossing. These sheets create cavities in between them that become known as the cells of the coffee bean. The walls of these cells are essentially coated in flavor and aromatic compounds that we want in our cup. In order to get at them, we have to send water in, dissolve the compounds into the water, diffuse back out of the cell, and into our cup. And this brings us back to the grinding part, because you're not going to get very far with a whole bean. You won't be able to access all of the flavor buried deep within the cells, so we grind it up. We increase the area accessible to the water, and within minutes, we've accomplished our mission. Now, we could end the video here, but I say, we go just a bit further. Grinding is actually a pretty complex topic and you can't just choose any one setting and expect it to work on any coffee machine. First, I want to talk about particle size, what it is, why it's important, and second, I want to talk about its effect on extraction. So particle size is as it sounds. It's the size of each individual particle of ground coffee. Generally, with a good burr grinder and sharp burrs, you'll find that most of the particles are around the same size. No matter what though, you'll always have some that are finer and some that are more coarse than the average size. If you were to take a pile of ground coffee and graph their particle sizes, you would typically see a bell-shaped curve like this. So most of the sizes are huddled in the middle and it tapers off on the sides. This concept is actually called a particle size distribution. The larger particles are sometimes called boulders and the smallest particles are sometimes called fines. Although as a side note, I don't really recommend using that term as there are other uses of the term fines in the coffee world, and I think that they fit better in those other definitions. So this is interesting because it sort of allows us to set a goal for coffee grinding. That is to have most of the particle sizes be the same. If they are all too different from one another, some parts of the coffee will extract quicker than other parts. And this just leads us to inconsistent and unbalanced cups of coffee. We can maximize the uniformity, as I said, by buying a burr grinder, having sharp burrs, and some people will go as far as using coffee sifters to sift out the coffee and use only the particles that fall within a certain range. So that's one aspect of particle size, but there's another factor here that affects extraction, and that is how our grind affects the flow of water through the coffee. Check out these two cups as an example. If you pour water through both of them, the one with the finer particles is going to have a slower flow than the one with the larger particles. This is the same with coffee, except on a very small scale. But don't forget that the other variable that affects flow is the filter you are using and how porous it is. So we sort of get this interesting relationship between the grind size, the filter you're using, and the flow rate of the water. And they all work together to give you your extraction. But you can kind of see trends, and most people know them casually without being able to explain why. For instance, the idea that you use a more coarse grind setting for a French press versus something like a thin V60 filter. Okay, so I hope I haven't lost anyone yet. Let's just quickly recap what we've talked about so far. We've said that grinding coffee is a way to increase the surface area available to the water for extraction. Water enters the coffee bean cells to extract aromatic and flavor compounds that get dissolved and go into our cup. The particle sizes of ground coffee can affect our extraction in many ways, including slowing down or speeding up the flow of water and increasing or decreasing the rate of extraction based on their size. And finally, we should try to create as much uniformity as possible with particle size as this will create the most balanced and evenly extracted cup of coffee. So what is my takeaway from all of this? Well, you definitely have to grind your coffee. There's no real way of getting around that. But you should also take care when grinding. Buy a good grinder, grind the coffee fresh, and make adjustments when it tastes off. At the end of the day, you are part of the cycle. 
a farmer creates a bean that they are proud of, a roaster takes that bean and tries to maximize its flavor potential, and then it lands on your lap. And it's now our job to make sure that we honor their efforts and make great coffee. I really hope this video had some helpful information. If there's anything you want me to follow up on or that was confusing, please let me know in the comments below. I know it got a bit more detailed and technical than some of my other videos, but let me know if that's something that you enjoy. And if you're interested in seeing more of my stuff, please consider subscribing as I do release weekly content. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next week. Have a great day.